Hey YouTube, it's Nearly Paramount. I'm finally back. Uh, today I wanted to do a video for people who might be new gun owners or maybe not very familiar with their guns. Uh, specifically, I'm going to show you how I clean my guns. That doesn't mean this is the only way to do it or the best way to do it. This is just how I do it and I found it to be pretty effective and easy. Uh, so here we go. So the first thing you'll need is a toothbrush, just any old toothbrush, the cheapest one you can find. It's going to get all dirty anyway. Um, I get ones that have stiff bristles. That tends to work better than the soft ones. You will also need a bore brush, or if you don't have one, this is just the brush that came with my gun. You'll also need, ready for it, yes, baby wipes. I just got these at the dollar store, uh, just the cheap ones, Snoopy. Just any type of baby wipes. And look for the ones that have no aloe or perfume or anything because you don't want that crap on your gun. So the first thing you want to do when you pick up any firearm, even if you think you know whether it's loaded or not, is to visually and physically inspect it. So to do that, you look inside the chamber, you can see there's no magazine, there's nothing in the barrel, and you also visually and physically inspect it so you actually feel it with your hands, make sure there's really nothing in there. So we have verified, in fact, this is an empty weapon. So we're going to go ahead and strip it here. Alright, so we got the gun all taken apart now. Uh, this is a Springfield XD. It's pretty easy to take apart, but you will need to know how to take your own weapon apart and put it back together. Uh, most of them are pretty easy. This one just has a switch that you flip up and then basically pull the trigger and the slide comes off. And then the recoil spring and the barrel just basically pop out right after that. So, first what you do is take the baby wipes. And you want to wipe down all the surfaces of the gun with the baby wipes. So anywhere, anywhere you can reach, you want to wipe with the baby wipes. And you'll see, as you go here, see it's already getting a bunch of stuff off. And sometimes you can let the baby wipes dry out for a little bit. It can get kind of messy if they're really wet. Um, but it's all right if it does. It just works a little better sometimes to let it dry off more. So you wipe everything down, get it down in the mag well everywhere. Same thing with the barrel and the slide. And you can use your fingernails too and kind of scratch scratch things off, try and get it as clean as possible. And we're going to use the toothbrush for that also in a minute. But you can see it's already getting quite a bit cleaner just from that. Getting there. So you just keep scrubbing away until you get most of the stuff off and it's not all going to come off, that's what the toothbrush is for. And you want to pay special attention to the inside of the slide there where the firing pin is because it tends to get a lot of crap in it. Alright, so now that we're all done wiping everything down, we're going to take the toothbrush and basically scrub everything that you can see. And this will help to get some of the really hard stuff off. My gun's been sitting for a little bit, so it's kind of caked on there. But you'll go through the slide and everywhere where you grab the slide, all that dead skin and dirt that gets stuck in here. You 
You want to pay special attention to all of the moving parts and get the toothbrush in there really good. And all the switches and buttons, the trigger. Same thing, the grip here where all the dead skin gets. All right, so now that we've done that, and this baby wipe has had a little time to dry out, I like to go back over it again with the baby wipe and get all the stuff that got loosened by the toothbrush. All right, so we've scrubbed everything with the toothbrush and wiped everything off with the baby wipes. So you can see here, the feed ramp is looking pretty polished, it looks pretty good. So the next step is going to be to use either a bore brush or this little brush that comes with your gun. And if you look inside the barrel, you can see it's pretty dirty. All those little flakes and black spots on it, it should be polished and reflective. So basically what we're going to do is take the brush and just pass it back and forth a couple times through the barrel and this should loosen everything up. Again, a bore brush works a lot better. It basically has bristles in the front and then kind of a cloth area in the back that pulls all the stuff through. Um, but unfortunately, I do not have one. All right, so we'll see how we did. All right, see so how you can't see those spots anymore, so that looks a lot better than it did. All right, so the very last step is to use some oil and I use basically the smallest amount that I can get away with so I'll use maybe two drops on the slide so what I do is put like one drop there one drop there and then I'll just use my finger and run it along the length of the slide you don't want to use too much oil because it'll gum up your gun and make it it makes dirt and carbon stick to it more and it'll start sticking and not functioning properly so you don't want to use a ton of oil and you want to put it all along every surface now I sometimes I'll just put a drop on my finger and just use my finger to go along it and this gun since it's a polymer frame I don't put oil on the actual frame itself. I only put it on the metal parts of the gun. And you don't want to get oil inside the mag well. So you do the same thing with the recoil spring and the barrel. All right, and once you get it put back together, it's good to rack it a couple times and let the oil kind of get everywhere. And that's it. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.